TSPN. Hi, I'm Angie Olmstead, and we are back on this Wednesday evening, and we are so happy that you joined us for the How To Show. Today we will be discussing how to do many things for Memorial Day. I will be starting by showing you how to make a, an edible floral arrangement. And I am a certified floral designer. And Franny will be showing you the napkins, how to fold napkins. Get excited, people. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then, of course, I get to do something everybody loves to do. I lo everyone loves to eat, and I'm going to do a Stars and Stripes dessert pizza. And afterwards, we are going to, uh, to clear the table off. We are going to set our own table settings here. We're going to tell you why we chose what we chose, and we are going to sit here and eat in front of you. <laughs> and we're going to be eating <laughs> Tasha's wonderful dessert. We are going to be eating uh, strawberries and grapes. And we will just be talking about Memorial Day, what it means to us and to the local uh, veterans and how they will be celebrating. But I will be starting off by showing you and telling you a little bit about floral arranging. And I will make this fairly quick. Um, but there are, there are certain tools that are used in floral arranging, and one of the most important tools is something that will hold your flowers and your fruit where you want them to be. And so there is a floral foam, which is for fresh flowers and fruit and vegetables, and then there is a floral foam, which is for permanent botanicals, which are like silk fake flowers. So this, the hard one is for the silk flowers that have the metal stems on them and the soft one is for the fresh flowers. One of the things that's very important about this particular type of foam for the fresh flowers is you must immerse it in water and you must have enough water to cover it. So when you, when you first start feeding it the water, you'll fill a sink or a pan, and then you'll drop the floral foam in and watch the water work up to it. You do not hold it under water because what will happen is there will be dry areas within the foam that then will not properly feed your flowers and they will die. So part of them will die and then part of them will be alive and a big mess. I didn't know that. So another, another way that you can hold your flowers in place is by dropping this into a container of any kind like a teacup or, or anything you wish to show your flowers in and this is called a frog. And you just drop it into the water, and then you stick your flowers in here, and it, and it holds it in place. Um, the, the way that you hold anything, any kind of floral foam in, is you tape it in. So I have started by taping it, and you can use this uh, the special floral tape that you also make boutonnieres and corsages and everything with. So you, what you do is, is first you wind it around the bottom of your container and then you just take it and kind of snap it and take it up and stick it and it's self sticky, it's self adhesive. Mm -hmm. So it's already stuck there. So anyway you make yourself kind of a nice secure grid system. You don't want to use too much because you want to be able to still poke all your flowers and your fruit in there. So you have to have a lot of empty spaces. The next thing is um, the greenery. And you want to cover all of your mechanics. They're called mechanics. So you want to cover your foam. And if this were not white, if it just looked green, which is how it usually comes, then you, then you would want to cover it because it's more of a mechanic thing. Now it's more kind of decorative. So Franny has already covered this and she's getting ready to put her fruit and in it. And um, while they're doing that, I will talk more <laughs> about um, m the floral part of this. So what we're going to do basically is we're going to, I'm going to do a floral arrangement and then when we're finished we will put 
the piece that Franny is working on and the piece that Tasha is working on, we'll put them together at the bottom of this. So that'll be the edible part, and this will be the floral part. Franny, now, you, we were talking on the way here, and we were talking about when you actually eat the fruit. Like, and we were saying, well, <laughs> I'm thinking <laughs> my, my daughter-in-law was... It was, and her French friend were saying that they have fruit before the meal. Well, and I thought that maybe that was for a diet thing to uh, suppress their appetite. Typically, I, I am a, the fearless leader of a cooking group called the Saucy Sisters up here in the county. And from what I understand, fruit would be served at the end of the meal if it was a formal type of dinner, especially in France where they have a salad course at the end after the main entree. Mm. They serve cheese yes. and salad. Oh. And I would think that fruit would go along with that. Or I would serve it as dessert. And so having it before the meal uh, as a entree, I mean as a appetizer, appetizer it is novel. And I think that it might help suppress your appetite if that was your goal. So, well, we, since this is not a formal dinner, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> then we're probably going to eat it before we eat our dessert uh, because we want to suppress our appetites uh, uh, slightly, but not so, a lot. So, Angie, should I leave some of the toothpicks showing so that yeah, it invites people to remove it remove as an edible? Absolutely. Good idea. Oh, good idea. Okay. Good idea. Um, the floral arrangement I'm going to talk about. I don't like that. Um, this floral arrangement is a rather unusual one, and it can be done with anything that's long-stemmed and for an arrangement that you want to keep low on the table. So for today, we don't want to hide each other's faces, so we're going to make this low. So what I'm going to do is I've already cut these, uh, these little baby irises in half. The, the stem was like this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take it, and I am going to poke it in one side with the flower on it and then out the other side I am going to poke the stem so it's going to be a long and narrow arrangement whoops wrong stem um, <laughs> so I, I guess that you know somebody's gonna have to look at this part but you know that's their problem so anyway this this can work with any long stemmed flowers at all it would it would be absolutely fabulous with calla lilies it's fabulous with um, uh, cattails for the fall that would be beautiful it's yeah. it's really just just a wonderful kind of showy look that doesn't get in the way of the people talking which is very important Okay, and I also I want to tell you where we got our greenery today. And this is really amazing to me because we live up country and I went out searching for greenery up country. And what did I find? But the very greenery that every florist uses for their fillers. And it's this wonderful fern plant. And really so that you so you can just really get your greens like not from the florist, which is, you know, maybe, sorry about there, if you're floral, florist watching, <laughs> but, but you can just go outside your home, and you can pick these wonderful, look at what I've chosen today, I've chosen just these, these wonderful, beautiful little green things that I can't remember the name of, that grow around my house, and um, maybe... Thank you for saying that. <laughs> These were things that were on your property, right? Not your neighbors. <laughs> Not my neighbors. But, but there is this saying amongst florists, and that is, the true sign of a wonderful floral designer is that they must have a good deal of talent, and they must have very good running shoes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that should they decide to help themselves from their neighbor's little wonderful garden, that they will not get caught. <laughs> I'm going to watch you. I'm going to keep an eye out for you. So let me see. Uh, there is... Um, Oh, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about, about floral arranging, and I'll finish this during our break. But I wanted to tell you that when doing a, any floral arrangement at all, that you will need to, that you will need to think about 
there's a standard kind of rule that's a one-third, two-third rule. And if you have a really kind of common vase vase, I guess vase is like the uncommon. <laughs> um, if you have a common vase, then you will want that to be the one-third. See how this is? It's like one-third of the overall arrangement. Okay. So the flowers are more important in this case than the vase. You so you will want to keep them up and okay. fill them up. Um, here's another one. It's a short version, but it's still, it's one-third is the vase, two-thirds are the flowers. Okay. Okay. Um, this is, it's... It's not a vase. I wanted to show this to you to, to say there are many things you can put flowers in that don't have to look like a vase. But this is a case where the container is, is um, two-thirds of this floral arrangement and the flowers are one-third. Oh, okay. the, uh, the container is more important hmm. than the flowers. Okay. And then I also wanted to show you that there is uh, a, a lot of ways to do flowers. Like, if you have lots and lots of flowers, you know, then you want to do something like this, or, li or like this. But if you have very few flowers, like you can just run to the store and get a bunch of flowers, and then you can separate them out into several vases. But the vases should be all of the same kind. They should be either all clear glass or all white glass, or they can be of very various sizes and shapes, but they should all be like the same co colors, you know, or... So anyway, I will continue working on this, and I want to thank you again for joining us. We are going to break now. When we come back, we will be excitedly working on napkin folding with Franny. That's right. Get excited. Get excited. <laughs> You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. Okay, we'll hold them up. Okay. Hey, everybody. Uh, thank you for staying with us during napkin folding. I know it's not always the most exciting thing in the world, but we're going to have fun. So... Thinking about Memorial Day, <laughs> I, I'm thinking about napkin folding. Uh, I did a little bit of research and I looked at different types of napkin folding and some of them are so formal that you have to have a starched, ironed napkin. Mm. Ugh, forget it. You know how I fold my napkins? I run to the dryer, I take <laughs> them out, I go smooth, 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 smooth. <laughs> napkins folded, okay. So today we're, I have chosen three different types of napkins. Start with a square napkin. Ladies. I'll do okay. this one. Okay. Square napkin. Right. Okay. Square Place napkin. it down in front of you okay. where the okay. square is facing you. Okay. Now our, for our first fold, this is going to be called the silver fold. Okay. This silver. is called the silver fold. To hold our silver one. Yes. Oh, okay. So we're going to take the bottom okay. and fold it up to the top. All right. Holding on to that, which you just folded up, okay. pull it down one-third of the way oh. so that it meets back down to the one bottom. One-third of the way. Okay. okay. Back down to the bottom. Now flip it over. I told you this was exciting. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> now I want you to fold the napkin completely in half and completely in half. And now what you've done is you've oh, created yourself how a little is. pocket. To put in How cute your is silver. That? Oh Isn't that my, cute? That's neat. Do you know what else you could do? You could put a little floral tube in here and have a little flower there. See? That's what it looks like when you're done. That is Isn't that nice. informal? Nice. I nice. love nice. that. That's really hanging off the that's bottom, fine, isn't too. It? That's good. Fine. That's fine. Yes. Good. Okay. Okay. So uh, in in a case like this, you could put it uh, to the left of the plate. Mm. You could put this right in the center of the plate. Uh, it's it's informal. It's just fun. Okay. 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 One. Oh my gosh, that was fast. Can I f can I make napkin folding last twelve minutes? We'll see. <laughs> okay. Get another one. <laughs> Let's see. Two. We have a second fold, a second napkin. Okay. Now this time you're going to take your napkin, hold it out in front of you, and I want you to place it down like it's a diamond shape. Oh, okay. Place okay. it as a diamond shape in front of you. All right. 
Now, this fold is called uh, night light. That's what it was called in the in the research that I did. But today we're going to call it something else. What? And I'll see. You'll have to see. You'll have to see if you uh, can guess. Okay. Now remember, this is Memorial Day that we're that we're dealing with. Okay. okay. I'm gonna. T you're gonna take your bottom diamond. Okay. And, fo <laughs> <laughs> and fold it up to make a triangle. Okay. okay. Simple, right? Okay. Simple. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to take the point of your triangle and fold it down to the bottom of your fold. Mm -hmm. Okey-doke. Simple, right? Mm -hmm. Then we're going to kind of give it a little crease. One-third, and then one-third. Almost like you were going to be tying a bandana. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Right. Now here's a tricky part. It's not uh -huh. tricky. It's is really easy because I picked three <laughs> really <laughs> easy napkins. I'm going, okay. 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 Yeah, right. yeah, You're yeah, going to yeah. put your finger, you see where this fold meets here and makes kind of like a little triangle here where this mm. fold and this little flap here is. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Put your finger on that flap at, at a uh, perpendicular angle. That hand? Okay. Yes. And then fold up. See how you made just like a little flag? You're going to fold that up. Uh -huh. Okay. Now you're going to grab it firmly in your hand so you don't lose it and place it that way in front of you and now you're going to roll. You're going to roll your napkin. Okay. Mine is <laughs> slippery and it just keeps uh, going all over the place. Well, bus. don't take this because it's mine. I know what this is. I know what this is. Okay, well, keep working at it. And then when you get down to the end, mm -hmm. you're just going to tuck this little flat part that you have left over and you're going to tuck it in under the last the roll of bottom material. Bottom or the top? Where? The, the bottom. 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 Okay. Underneath you're the going last to roll. Fasten that in. And now you have the Torch of Liberty. Oh. For Memorial Day, you have the Torch of Liberty. How oh. nice. Isn't that cute? I wasn't going to guess that. Okay, well, let's do it one more time, just in case you didn't get it. Okay, let's do this one more time. Okay. Okay, so unfurl okay. your napkin. Oh, okay. And you see, you get to have kind of like a really dramatic little unfurling yes. there, too. All right. So Place it in front the, of you like okay. a diamond. diamond. Okay. Okay. Take your bottom. Yep. Make a triangle. Yep. Triangle. Take your triangle point and bring it oh. down to the bottom okay. of your napkin. Okay. Now you're going to do okay. the one third. One third one and third. then one third. Whoops. One third. Okay. Okay. Then you're going to fold your little flap okay. up. Okay. That's the... Yes, okay. Fold up, then turn your napkin, and turn napkin. roll. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I know. It's Emergency. Houston, we have a problem. All right, let's Am I uh, upside down or right side okay. up? So make your flap, take your flap, and fold up. Now hold on to this firmly so you don't lose it. Oh, Slide okay. it around. It just makes it easier to roll if you, if you okay. put it in Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. And roll your napkin up. Tasha, I'm sure that you have the slippery napkin there. I know, boy. No, well, you, oh, have, sure, I know. you have a napkin that has a little more. Yes, it kind uh, of No, but yeah, mine keeps coming apart. Too, yeah, well, mine but. is not. I mean, I did better last time. <laughs> and now you have your torch of liberty. Cute. That, that is, is very that cute. That is cute. really cute. Okay, could be like apple. Could be an apple for like in you know like sure. when it's time to go to Apple Hill and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, could be it a could little be, apple it with could a, be kind could of be a, a, like you're you're going to do you know some fireworks and it's <gasps> going to be cute, cute, I know. cute, cute, cute. Yes, okay. yes, fireworks. So okay, what do you so think? Number two, you like I like that? it. Okay, I like that. Number three. But Are you read? Uh, oh, okay. no, no, wait a minute. I have a question. Like yes. So yep. my husband. I'm okay. sorry, Dennis, but my <laughs> husband. My husband will go. So what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> you grab it. You grab it. <laughs> oh, oh fun. fun. All right. Cool. Fun, Love it. right? Love it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Now, but now I wanted to have one right there. All right. Like so, well, well, let's just do it. You, now that you oh, know how to do, do it. Do one more time. It's super fast okay. and super easy. Okay. Look how cute that is. It wouldn't, one, wouldn't take you very long to roll one, uh, two, your entire dinner party three. of napkins with this. You, have you ever had a fold on a napkin that is so difficult that it takes you like an hour to fold your napkins? I am I over don't those think days. So. <laughs> <laughs> I am the well, best. Well, 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 you know, I end up just with beautiful paper napkins. That's just the way. Yeah. I know. Oh, okay. Well, they're really pretty, you know, those. All those, right. Those so now ones. we have yeah. 
the silver okay. with a little pocket. Okay, and we, we have oh, the wait, Torch wait. of Liberty, and we have one more. Wait, All right. Wait, wait, wait. And ha-ha, yeah. I already went and took one of these, so you guys okay. have to have All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> the last fold. Okay. This is, uh, I was thinking about uh, the easy napkins to fold, and this one is really easy. It's, so I want to talk to you about it. The reason I chose it, I think will become obvious, it's for Memorial Day, where we remember our servicemen, okay. fallen and retired and active. So once again, place the napkin as a diamond in front of you. Diamond, gotcha. And bring your point up to make a triangle. Okay. Now you're going to bring your point down back down to that fold. This is going to seem a little familiar. Yeah. And you're going to make, kind of press it down so you can see that there's a bit of a crease. So when you fold it back up to a triangle, you see that there's a line there. Oh, All okay. right? Can't All see right. it. Not very well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, really yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I can't. Right. I'm putting my finger right there so I can kind of see it. Uh, okay. All right. And now okay. you're going yeah. to uh, roll it up a third. Okay. Roll third. it up a third till you get to your line. To the line. Till you get to the line, okay. and then roll again, oh. and then roll, roll one more time over that line. Oh. All right. Now oh, you're okay. going to okay. fold your napkin. Find the center. Okay. Fold it in half. Bring it up, and you have a boat. Oh, how cute! For how all cute. of our naval yeah. service. Oh, oh, is okay. there better? What? <laughs> so, <laughs> so if you have a. Uh, a naval serviceman in your family, and you wanted That's to do nice. something nice for Memorial Day. Nice. Why not fold a napkin into the shape okay, of a boat? It's like you're, okay, oh, let's do it again. Okay, let's do it again. again. Do it again. One All more right. time. One more time. All right. So I, I told it. you this was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're having fun. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I did it. Now. Dive. It's it's in the shape of a diamond in front of you. I helped. Did it. Now. now you're going to take the bottom and fold it up into a triangle. Gotcha. This is going to remind you sort of of making those paper hats when uh -huh. you were a kid. Okay. You're going to bring your tip down. Your point and bring it down to the fold and give yourself a little press. press so that you can see it that it's right there that's your target you want to do a okay. third and a third to that to that line and then one more time okay, put your finger in the in center the fold it over fold it over sit it up ah. And you have a boat. How now? How would you? That cute? Yeah, how would you set this on the yeah, table? Yeah. How would like? Is it um, gonna go I would set line? it in the middle of the plate. In, in the, the middle, middle of the plate. plate? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Like it was going down, going down oh, the line I see. like okay. that. Okay. Is that cute? Okay. So, are, do you have? Would you like to practice the silver one more time? Because we didn't well, do that one twice. I want to show you what, how I do the napkins. Okay. And then, and then if I'm really fancy again, I put like some sort of a floral tube in there with little flowers in it, and oh, just like so, okay. pop you're it so floral. to my. I know I am just a floral, and pop it into my uh, wine glass, maybe. Huh? That's great. Okay. Well, I, I really like that <laughs> idea, actually. And there were a lot of I, I, I investigated a lot of designs that did uh, involve the glass. So you can always go that way. You can also go this way, which is oh, a well, napkin holder, yeah. and use. This is a bandana that yeah. I got at the feed store. Isn't that cute? Wouldn't that yes. be a cute napkin? Cute. Yeah. Just put it right into a napkin ring. Done. So listen, it's about time for us to take a break. So I will just tell you that next up, we have Tasha making a star-spangled dessert. And oh. we're all going to be helping. Yes, uh, they're going to be helping it. because we're never going to make it if we don't. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope that you will not change that dial oh, and come on back. I think we have 15 seconds, so <laughs> I hope that you don't change that dial and that you will come on back for the star-spangled star dessert with Tasha. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSP. It's the Italian Picnic and Parade Television Network, TSPN. All right, are you ready to eat? <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and if you haven't guessed, because of our wonderful things, of course, we are going to do a Stars and Stripes dessert pizza. Uh, so what I did uh, beforehand to kind of, because 12 minutes, I thought, there's no way. Ha, ha. Believe it or not, this is my stoneware that I have had since 1996. So on the back side, you can see it's a little on the used side. It's, it is seasoned. 
So all I did was just take two packages of crescent rolls, and I rolled them out, and I went ahead and made sure that all of the little uh, little lines are all together, and I baked it. And then to make it easy for my cohorts and myself, I went ahead and I already outlined a flag because that is what we are going to do. And so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to start on one thing, and then I have things for them to do. Uh, one of them is going to get to do the bananas, and one's going to get to do the strawberries. Now, the person who gets to do the bananas, it looks like it's Franny. This, of course, you notice blue. See, I've got to do everything red and white and blue. This is a really neat, really neat little bowl because it collapses. So if you want it big, there you go, okay? And you can have it. You can have it flat, and it's also good for if you have, like, shrimp, and then you have your cocktail sauce and everything. So we're just going to go ahead and have that down here. Now, this is a nice little hint. When you are doing fruit, okay, when you're doing fruit, especially apples and uh, bananas and things, and you're doing it in a uh, dessert, this stuff starts turning brown. Well, all you need to do, it, I just have some Sierra Mist, anything that's lemon lime, 7-Up, uh, oh yes, 7-Up or uh, Sprite. And so what we're going to do is we are going to pour that in there. What a good idea. And then it keeps it so it doesn't get, and I'm going to leave this down here because you might need to put some more in, okay? Now, what she's going to do, you, I'm giving them both egg slicer pluses. You guys, this thing is amazing. Not only does it do eggs, it does strawberries, it does bananas, it does mushrooms, it does olives, it does kiwi. It's great. So all they're going to do is, and here is for you, a nice little bowl so when you are finishing you can put no this is your she does that one because the bananas go in there that need to be brown and you are going to put the sliced strawberries in there okay while there so you can go ahead and start doing that because you're going to need a lot of them because we're going to have four rows of bananas and we're going to have five rows of, of strawberries okay ahead of time I took an eight ounce cream cheese and a cup of powdered sugar and I mixed it up in this nice little batter bowl. And then what I'm going to do, <laughs> and notice, <laughs> how you doing down there? And she did, yeah. Uh, I'm Don't going look. to, I'm, I'm going sort to of like Lucy, I'm going to have to eat it all. <laughs> oh, yeah, from that, yeah, the candy thing. All right, I'm taking a, a lemon, and this is our zester, and I'm just going to go ahead and zest, and it says to do about a teaspoon, but what the heck, we'll just, you know, you got to have a little bit more because it's got to have a nice little tart to it. Okay, so we're doing that. And then, of course, I forgot my wonderful little uh, cutting board, so I'm just going to use the bottom of this one. But notice I do have a blue knife. And <laughs> this, <laughs> I know. And this is... Uh, I get that you can also guess who made us wear these hats. Oh, oh yes. yes, I know. <laughs> yes. And then this is the cutest little thing. I'm supposed to have a half a tablespoon of lemon juice to put in here. So this is a cute little mini easy read, I think, which is really nice. And it's nice because I can set it down and I can just do this. Good luck. There you go. Just a half. And it did a half of a tablespoon. So I put that in. And then, of course, I have got to use a blue. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, ladies. Okay, I'm going to just mix this up. <laughs> And then the fun part is going to begin. All right, I'm going to take... I'm already having fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I mean, anything that has to do with food. I know. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take, and I'm going to put this. This is going to be all over the whole entire flag because I'm making a flag. Okay. All right, I'm going to put that. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to put this down. And it's nice because remember, I uh, I do uh, I do shows. I go to people's homes and I do shows and show all this wonderful kitchen tools. Well, the nice thing is, my husband, when I come home, I just bring all the dirty dishes home, and then my husband stays up and he washes all the dishes for me. Isn't that a nice husband? But a few <laughs> years ago, he said, "You know, Tasha," he says, "This is nice. I'm helping you out." He says, "But I think I should 
should get some kind of reward. So what happens is he gets 25% of my commission. So, <laughs> so whether I am doing a $200 show or a $1,200 show, he gets to have 25% of my commission. And That's I tell you, he has, he's gotten himself a 60-inch screen TV. He's gotten a DVD, uh, you know, uh, Blu-ray. I mean, he's just having, he's having a ball. Okay, I'm going to leave a little bit on the end so we can kind of see the, okay. All right, now what's going to happen is in this part up here, this is going to be the blueberries. The blueberries. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the blueberries up here, and we're just going to kind of roll those around so we Thank have blueberries. And then we're going to do five rows of strawberries. And before we put the bananas down, I am going to do uh, some Cool Whip on the on the uh, on that to make it so it's really going to be good. And if the crew is nice enough afterwards, I guess we're going to let them have some of the dessert too. Well, yeah. that would be. I know. I figured. No, well, the strawberries and, and bananas and everything smell so wonderful. Okay. Really All right. Good. So now I have to reach down here. <laughs> All right, ta-da. Shall I move this? Yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to make little stars. Oh, too cute. Isn't that cute? Yes, little stars. Now, what is that in there? Uh, just Cool, cool. Whip, yeah. If you, okay. if you really want to be fancy, you can do it. All right, then, okay, the, now what I'm going to do very fast, because I, this is a closed tip. Okay, that's why we had the little stars. Now I'm going to take that off, and I'm going to put the open, the open one in there because we need to have it wider for the the banana stripe. Okay, and I might even have to put some more on there. All right, so now where is it? Here it goes. So we're going this way, and we're doing all the way down like that. Can you even, can you see this? Yes, okay. Could I, I use this for my shower where I have little, <laughs> <laughs> little leaks and stuff? You know, I mean, this is like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I think I ain't gonna go out. Uh -huh. And we're gonna need one. Am I gonna make uh, it? Uh, yeah. No. All right, so by the time you get down there, I'll have more in. All right, yeah. so what you're gonna do, strawberry lady. Yep. Nice and even. I want you to put nice strawberries all along there. Now, for you with the bananas. Should I start now? So go ahead and start. You with the bananas. Yes, ma'am. You are going to take this cute little scoop, and you can scoop up your bananas, and then go ahead and put your bananas on the Cool Whip. While I go ahead and get a little bit more. Got to have enough. So the bananas go on the bananas top of go the Cool on Whip. The top of the Cool Whip. Yeah. All right. Should and we you just scoop down just okay. a tad yep. for yeah. me? Really yeah. make Don't it try. We have time. enough. We have enough strawberries <laughs> and everything. So just go for it. Okay. So go it doesn't it. need to be like nice and neat and all that kind of stuff. No, because right? I'm going to show you. Make it neat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you some some well, pictures of some shades. other really cute, uh, really Cake flag food. desserts that you can do and oh, flag okay. food that you can do that is really nice. It's okay. Okay. No, it's okay. okay. We can flip this and you know, and it, 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 you know even though we're on TV, if you absolutely have to take a you know a taste, I guess you can take a taste. You oh. Know, but, you know. Okay. Yeah. Because we do have gloves on. I know. I want you to know that we're trying to be very nice here and. All right, and then I'm going to just go ahead. Okay. So how many people will this serve, do you think? Uh, it says that it's going to serve 16. Wow, it seems like okay. this is something that you could get your kids to help you with, and they would have a, a lot of It is a fun thing to do with kids, and yeah. now we're going to eat it right after the show. Good grandkid project. Oh, it's a good grandkid project. Can we project. eat it during the show? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, of course, in case you do need, I do have red and then and then some stars oh, uh, towels, okay. too, huh, of course. Okay, cute. Now, what I'm going to do while you guys are working diligently, I am going to show you some other wonderful things. All right. Here, I just couldn't believe this. I went, thank goodness for the Internet. That's all I can say, people. That's all I can say. And I went online, and I found this neat, 
Uh -huh. Where is it? All right, back here. Boy, they smell. All right, so look good. at this. Can you get a picture of this? Uh -oh, All right, you guys, table? this is nothing but fruit and cheese. You want so me to turn this whole thing So we could around? use this exact Max same, if you want to here, we could use this platter here. We could use a little okay. bowl like Wait, that over in the corner the and put the before. blueberries in that. And then, do you know what this fruit is? beginning of Memorial Day and all of the wonderful barbecues and everything, watermelon. So you go ahead and you chunk watermelon, and then the white is, now they say feta cheese. Ladies, what other kind of cheese could you use besides feta in the, in the, that right. would good, That would be good with that would uh, be watermelon. Good, good with watermelon. Uh, you could use burrata, that would be good. You could use mascarpone, that would okay. be really good. Um, <laughs> with uh, with watermelon, hmm, I would go with the feta. I think that feta and watermelon is a classic combination. It's it's really quite delicious. Okay, we have a little si a side over there. How about Swiss cheese? Would that work with watermelon? Oh, well, you could try it. Okay. It's a little teeny, huh? Yeah. Okay, oh, look well, at this. Well, you could have it then, yeah. Now, isn't it, I mean, I think cooking, this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> with cooking, as with most things, it's just what you like. It's what right. you like, yeah. It All is. right, we've got to switch places. Yep. We already, we're almost done. Oh, my goodness, you got to get this done so they can see what beautiful thing it is. Oh, yes. Well, we're almost done. Working in. And I thought that I was going to beat you, Angie, and you're well. beating me. <laughs> well, I okay, am a marathoner. Break. We're on break. <laughs> You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. Local television network, TSPN. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> now, uh, for this segment, we are going to show you uh, our table settings that we have each chosen for our, our uh, Memorial Day parties. So this is what... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, little piggy. <laughs> What we My are going to, to have for our guests. And um, I'll go ahead and start first, and then I'll just kind of move mine out of the way so we have room. But um, what kind of got me going was I decided that I really didn't have to have excellent um, matching pieces to everything. So I did, of course, stop by a thrift store on my way home from somewhere, and I found some things that I thought would work together. And and really kind of nothing kind of really matches, but it holds together as coordinates. So the first thing I have is um, a little a little uh, placemat, a charger, a silver charger, because I have silver silverware. And then I have, so it's, so it's pretty much red, white, and blue, but it's just an assortment of different things. Like I have a, a glass, wine glass, and I have a plastic little water glass, <laughs> and then I have a tin little cup. Cute. So it really doesn't matter that much you know, what you use as long as it's coordinated. And I think your friends would probably enjoy having a salad out of something really unusual. Oh, wow. So you could go shopping and you could buy all kinds of really unusual blue containers and everyone would have a different container for their salad. You don't have to stick with a salad bowl, a salad dish. You just choose something that you think would be fun and that your friends would enjoy eating Very from. Very nice. Now, all of this was from a thrift store? Or uh, the, just most of it was from this thrift store, yes. Um, the little, this little napkin was like 25 cents. I had this from somewhere. Um, this, this is a nice little piece. I, I want to talk about this as well because um, I think you can get away with using kind of, kind of unusual and not necessarily expensive things. But I am a great fan of always having one kind of very special piece that, mm -hmm. that keeps it over the top rather than throws it into cheap land. <laughs> so anyway, I will put that there, and then I will put my little bit of silverware, silver, to go with that on, on the side. And then there is my table setting that I am going to use to eat from today. And, and it doesn't have to match again. It has enough sameness. It has blue. It has white. This little a bit of turquoise is just a little added interest. Very nice. 
Okay, should I go ahead next, and then you can clarify? Yes, okay. and then I'll move, All right. I'll move my thing. Of course, you know, can you tell I'm really into red, white, and blue? Yes, with the Stars and Stripes. So, of course, my placemat is the Stars and Stripes. And then I am, uh, I'm Danish, and so, but it's beautiful white, so I have my white plate. But then I also have... And see, I even have the stuff that matches. What can I say? I have a whole set of these very nice, uh, these are from Mexico. And so then that's going to be the salad. And there is my dessert. And I have to have my centerpiece is, where's the bottom? I have my hat. Yes, here. Okay, I have a hat. Whoops. Okay, here is my Uncle Sam hat. So, and of course, and you will see why in just a little bit, I have red poppies in mine because I'm going to talk in just a little bit about the red poppies and the, uh, and the uh, veterans. And so there is that. And then I have, to go along with it, I have the cup and saucer also from Mexico. And then back to the Danish, because I'm Danish. My silverware is my grandmother's, oh, nice. my grandmother's Danish silverware. Very so nice. that is what I have. Okay? All right. Now Very I'm, pretty. Yes. I just love my, <laughs> my, <laughs> my <laughs> Uncle Sam hat. Yes, your Uncle Sam hat is very cute. And whose little piggy is this? Did you bring this for any? I did. So cute. So I'm, uh, that's my little pig. Isn't he cute? Yeah. And I have some stars here that I'm setting with mine. I got uh -huh. a head start while Tasha was doing hers just so that we don't run out of time at the end of the show. And this is <gasps> my Stars and Stripes bowl. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I like that bowl. And I have a plain white charger, a red uh, rimmed plate, and my special bowl, and then just a red, uh, big red beverage glass. And just some, just something to uh, make it fun. That is darling. And then you have your wonderfully folded napkin. And then I have my silver pocket yes, napkin God. here <laughs> filled with my silverware. Very fun. nice. Very nice. I have to put my napkin. Uh, cute, cute. Yes, I have to have a little my finishing piece. Okay, and now I think uh, we'd like to go into our. How to use an ordinary object? Yes. Are yes. you ready for that? I'm ready. ready for that. Okay, Franny, do you want to go first since mine's yes. over here? I have to get it so, out. So, uh, Angie gave us a challenge last uh, time we were together to use a scarf holder, and she challenged us to find another use other than the uh, intended use, which is to hang scarves. So, since I am a saucy sister, I did a charity dinner last weekend, and we made very fancy French macarons. This is going to make a terrible noise, but I used my scarf holder as a template to, uh, to draw a target onto a piece of parchment paper. So you draw your target, use one of these little holes to draw these circles. Uh, French macarons are very fussy, piped French cookies. So. This is what that looks like. It goes onto a baking sheet. And I also brought some of the macarons that we made. Oh, boy. Uh, these are uh, French macaron cookies, and you can see that they land right on top of oh, that little target. Perfect, perfect. And I have to say, uh, Angie, that it really made my job so much easier because piping is a really is Tedious. a skill yes. that uh, you have to practice to become perfect. I needed to have a target size for me for my piping. So I made these French macarons and they're, Yay. they're really good. Nice <laughs> going. So that's what I did with your ordinary object. Okay. You want to do me? Yes. Okay. Because I'm into plants. So guess what I used it for? Oh. It is. I have some ivy, and then I'm just going to train the ivy and have it, and have it as, as my little vine. Very cute. So that's what I did. Okay, and what I did was... Oh, my word. I went ahead and <laughs> prepared. <laughs> now, th now, this really, when I was doing this, you know, I was thinking, well, how much fun is this? Because it's a hanger for drying your flowers. And it's a hanger for drying your herbs. That's great. And 
I had it hanging on my pantry doorknob. Uh huh. And it was very cute, and it it w allowed the fragrance of this rosemary to permeate Ooh. the whole area and it, uh -huh. it was just delightful and so i think that i would probably go ahead and use this and put um you know how when you buy a package of basil or something yes. and it's like always too much yes. but you want it fresh so so you can just keep hanging the different uh, herbs, uh, herbs on, on this and then you can clip them just right from your pantry door very I like that clever. a lot, Angie. That's, That's a great, great idea. Thank yeah. you. Thank That's you. Great. Yeah, yeah. So I have a challenge for you for oh, next time. Okay. Okay, what could it be? I'm sure everyone has seen hundreds of these. It's a little cardboard six pack. And I'm challenging you to find something to do with yours. Now, what did I do with mine? Perfect I turned it for it, Memorial I Day. I turned it into a picnic go box. So it has my ketchup mustard, barbecue sauce, vinegar sauce, it has my cutlery and it has napkins. I can keep this in the trunk of my car and break out anytime Instant. a picnic comes upon me. <laughs> that Ready to go. So now looking. I challenge you to find something to do with just an ordinary cardboard six pack. That is okay. really wonderful. All right. So think about that. And okay. I know that you needed to. And uh, well you also need to talk a little bit about how beautiful this was when it comes as a finished product. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, gosh, let me go over here. Then. <laughs> I've got to talk about one main thing, yes. Okay, very fast. If you'll notice behind us, we have in memoriam, uh, wear your pr uh, poppy proud. Uh, because it's Memorial Day, and uh, we do have quite a few... Uh, we have quite a few veterans in Amador County. This Monday, this next Monday at 11 a.m., if you have never gone to the American Legion, just right down the road from here, and seen the and experienced the 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 music and the seeing all of the flags and listening to what the people say and seeing little cub scouts all the way through veterans it is a it's a wonderful experience so i'm hoping that a lot of you will come next monday 11 a.m uh, at the uh, american legion outside and it's going to be beautiful it's not going to be raining so it's going to be nice uh, another thing you can do is if you see uh veterans and they have these nice cans now what happened to the can oh here it is <laughs> you know we hide everything under here the magic of yes here wear you your poppy proudly and this is for uh our our post here uh 108 please put a donation in because it does go for mm -hmm. the men in this county and ladies and women in this county <clears throat> Tasha, may I uh, make a comment also? Sure. I was talking to one of the men at the Legion and asked them how a, just an ordinary person could um, participate in Memorial Day. And he suggested that any time you see a man, a, a serviceman or woman, just to go up and thank them. Yep. Thank them for their service. He says that's just really nice. Yes. Thank you all for joining us again. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye <laughs> next month. Third Wednesday. <laughs> You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.